Mr. President, this statement is made on behalf of ILGA and has been drafted in collaboration with 14 transgender and gender diverse activists from the global south and east. We greatly value the IE's report outlining on how the rights to freedom of religion or belief and SOGI are mutually reinforcing and divisible, despite multiple laws, policies and cultural practices worldwide that harm LGBTI persons in the name of religion. We also celebrate the fact that the independent expert recognizes that the right to freedom of religion or belief in a, um, is a right of individuals and not of state or religions. This recognition calls for true independence from state in the intervention in the individual choice of spirituality. We want to highlight that more exploration on conversion therapies, practices in the name of a religion, will not only benefit the report's premises, but also provide more valuable data to stop these practices. In this context, special attention should be given to trans youth who are forced into conversion practices with the aim of preventing them from transitioning or making them stop. Therefore, banning conversion practices is not enough. There is need for individual crisis care and general counseling services for conversion practices, survivors that are both LGBTI inclusive and religious. Friendly. Finally, we ask the independence expert how will he promote reparations and compensation for the survivors of this practice. We thank you, Mr. President.